Right, Martin, uh, you're head of Academy Recruitment at Middlesbrough. You're over here this weekend at um, Portadown Youth's Weekend of Activities. Do you want to tell us a wee bit about what's going on? Yeah, so um, I think it was December time where we, we cemented the link, really, with Portadown. Obviously, just to have a two-way relationship, and um, we're looking to sort of develop that further by this weekend, sending lead uh, professional development phase under 18's coach, Mark Tinkler, and uh, foundation phase coach Andrew Dorchell um, to develop and to work with some of the um, the Portadown Youth Academy boys. Um, we, we know about the link up of Portadown. Do you want to tell us a wee bit more about it? Um, how it works? Why Middlesbrough chose Portadown, and how it benefits ultimately Middlesbrough and Portadown? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we, we we fell into it really. Obviously, um, uh, Alberto Balde was was on our on our radar since he was twelve um, in terms of. The talent ID was was sort of taking place, and obviously it, we just fell into the link. Really, he was um, really well looked after and developed by Portadown Youth, and um, dealing with clubs uh, for trials, and um, you know on a basis of you know doing the right thing. Obviously, and the similarities between both clubs, ourselves and Portadown, um, were, were very close in terms of on a on a, on a smaller scale, but. Obviously, the way the people that we dealt with they put it down in terms of, and we got a, an instant sort of feel and a view that their their sort of thoughts on Alberto were, were were sort of to develop him as a person, to look after him, to, you know, to to integrate him sort of socially because he, he he didn't speak the language when he when he first came to Ireland. So, the all of their all of their traits to look after the boy was just really really sort of refreshing and. We just sort of we we had more of a, a built-in relationship. Myself and Noel communicated very regularly at times, and um, you know, at times probably more than what we did with our wives. You know, so I think as that relationship developed, so did the the link with the with the two clubs, and um, obviously they, they've been across with their teams. We've had we've had arranged fixtures, and um, we've we've just got to see the benefits because they're heading the right direction in terms of developing footballers developing people and we try to do the same on a, on a bigger scale but we hope both can work you know in regards to alberto i know a lot of our supporters will have a keen interest on how he's developed and his progression over at middlesbrough since he left us can you give us a bit of info on alberto and how he's getting on yeah i think again i reiterated to a lot of the people here um, about alberto it's a it's, it's a journey for him and and what happens is he's come over and he, he, his first year has been, you know, has been a, a, a real developing um, curve where, you know, he, he's he's performed, um, he's performed where he's coped, he's strived and he's struggled. But that's that can only that can only benefit his his own journey into development. So he's um, he's been part of a, a very successful uh, youth side that got into the final of the FA Premier League under 18s. Um, final again against Manchester City so he was part of that and he you know as a first year he's he's had lots of opportunities to develop with the youth team and develop with the 23s so he, he's on a he's on a real um he's on a real journey where he, he's improving he's developing but most important he's fitted in uh, to the group as a as a person and I think the traits that Porter down showed um to look after him to, to set him up um on his integration to our club is why the link sort of happened and also of why he's developing in a, as a person and as a player.